So in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can sell hats on Redbubble, or at least how you can put yourself in the best position to sell them. I'll also be showing you five different niches you can actually use four hats with low competition. So if you're ready for that, please do drop a like as that'll be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's jump straight into this. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone that's new around here, I make print and demand content to both motivate and to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can improve your print and demand shops. Now, if you do happen to be new around here and you haven't already, please do click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future uploads. We have actually helped a lot of people to get their first online sales through sites like Redbubble. And if you're looking to try to do the same thing, down in the description, I also have have a free print and demand starter guide that pretty much features a lot of the things that I did at the start. However, if you're someone who's looking to take this more seriously and maybe even turn it into more of a full-time thing, I do have a paid step-by-step -step guide that's also linked down below. Now, straight into this, for those who don't know, hats are a new product that have been added into Redbubble over the last sort of week or so. They've actually added in two variations. So you have the baseball caps and you have the dad hats, each variation with a range of colors. As you can see though, the baseball cap comes with four different colors. So we have the black the navy blue dark gray and light gray and for the dad hats you have the black the white the cream what looks like a gray and then a navy blue so each of these hats pretty much have their own sort of color schemes going on now from actually looking through my comments i've been seeing that a lot of you guys have actually been activating your hats some of you guys have actually started to get sales on hats which is good to see and i really do hope by the end of this video, a lot of you guys will now be mentally prepped to also get some hat sales. Now, the main key thing you need to focus on, especially when you're trying to sell new products like hat, is finding a niche. It's not easy, but it's doable, especially with a new product. One thing I really do like about Redbubble is that when you just click on the search button and you sort by best selling, they will show you all of their best selling products and designs, which can allow you to kind of figure out which niches people are looking for. Just to show you a quick example, guys, I've jumped on Redbubble and if I click the search button, you see that a bunch of products and designs will pop up. If I sort it by best selling, will then be showed what's actually best selling as you can see here there's a range of things and we have this one design here that says be happy alongside a load of other things so i actually did a little bit of pre-research just to see obviously what kind of niches i could jump into that have low competition so i looked at this design it says be happy actually typed be happy in the search so i'll quickly do that again and i noticed that when you search be happy Obviously, there's nearly 190,000 results, which is crazy. It's a lot. But when you search be happy and you put either caps or hats, that the results would drop. So as you can see there, under hats, it's dropped to now 7,800 odd. Now, another thing you can do, obviously, from this point, if you are looking for niches you can jump into that could potentially get you hat sales, you can then go in these tabs at the top to see if you can find other keywords with low competition. For example, here, good vibes only, I'm seeing 1,200. If I click on positive mind, still roughly 1200 and i mean you get the picture you click through these the results will most likely drop healthy minds you can see 162. now this is just one way you can kind of take advantage of niches that are already established niches that are big and niches that are more so in the evergreen sector however like i said at the start of this video i actually put together five different niches you can actually start creating hats for straight away that have low competition so as i go into this section of this video make sure you have some sort of notepad or your notes opened up on your phone so you can write these niches down because when i say they have low competition i mean it guys there's real opportunity here so jumping onto the first niche we have i'm the boss now obviously the hats is just the name of the product and it's going to be the same for the niches that i'm going to be going through but yeah 
here we have I'm the boss, which is a design that will be pretty cool for a birthday design for a dad, for a granddad. Birthday designs are evergreen designs, full stops. I mean, people have birthdays every day. So if you can get yourself on the front page of this, I mean, with only 113 results, you put yourself in good stead to get some sales. And one thing you need to bear in mind is that you need to be activating both caps because some people may only accidentally activate one. No, you need to make sure that you activate both of them. And as you can see from a lot of these designs, they're not very hard to create in your own way. It's literally a simple text-based design that says, I'm the boss. The one that I'm seeing at the front here has even got a shadow on it. I wouldn't even recommend making it this complicated or adding these extra things. I would just make either a simple white or a simple black design and put it on a hat. The fact that at this point in time, there's only 113 results to compete with. It's pretty much a really good opportunity for you guys to get some easy sales, like I've been saying. At the top, there's even more suggested keywords that you can make hats for or keywords that you can use in your tags if you do want to jump into this niche. So make sure that you're definitely taking advantage of that because it is a real opportunity there. Next up, we have niche two, which is I'd rather be fishing. Now, the fishing niche, for those who don't already know, is already big. Now, to find something within the fishing niche with only 65 results, it's crazy in itself. And if you guys aren't making designs for this niche, I'm going to be angry, especially if you're telling me that you're still not getting sales. Next up, we have niche three, which is retired and loving it. And as you can see with the screenshot, <laughs> I couldn't really put a lot of things on the screen here. And there's only five results. That is ridiculous. Five results. That is crazy. I mean, if you're not jumping onto this niche, you don't want to get any sales. It's full stop. You just don't want to make money at the end of the day because this is a niche that anyone can easily jump into. Once again, it's an evergreen niche. Even if it's not trending too crazy at this moment in time, these are things that could be gifted to people. Gift related designs sell, if not now, later. That's something that you guys need to keep in mind. And that's why you need to be jumping on niches such as this one. The next two niches I'm gonna be covering, cause there's two more to go, are gonna be a little bit different, but it all makes sense as to why. The first of those is niche four, which is Rick and Morty hats. Now, when we search Rick and Morty, there's only 76 results. Now, a lot of you guys may be thinking, okay, why are you suggesting Rick and Morty? Isn't that trademarked? Obviously, there'll be problems there. But no, if you don't already know, Redbubble actually has a partner program that allows you to upload trademarked things. And because they have certain licenses and agreements, you can actually make designs for them. And Rick and Morty is one of them. Sometimes it can take a while for the design to be accepted through. It could be anywhere from one week to four weeks, which I know seems like a long time. But if you're thinking long term and let's say your hat or your design gets accepted onto the Rick and Morty partner program, just think of the sales that you could potentially get in the future. The possibilities here are literally endless and moving us on we have niche five once again something that's part of the partner program and it is kiss the band or the band is just known as kiss the hats show up with only 22 results once again it's really crazy this is a well-known band it's popular these kind of hats sell once again you may need to wait a long time for your design to be accepted into the partner program but when it does do the sales will come. This is more so thinking long-term. And the main reason I've actually given you two partner program based niches in this is so you guys can pretty much also think long-term rather than just short-term. Because when it comes to hats, you are in a great opportunity to create long-term evergreen designs that will continue to get you guys sales all year round but yeah guys for today that's pretty much it i hope you now have a little bit more knowledge when it comes to actually trying to sell hats on redbubble as well as some niches you can use alongside that if you enjoyed this please do drop a like as that would be very much appreciated down in the comments if you made it to this point of the video comment down no cap thank you for watching and always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success